So today we're going to go ahead and fold up a Revo and put it in a trailer. So the first thing that we need to do, we turn the uh, quarter turn fasteners, it doesn't matter which way, with a flathead screwdriver and remove the windshield. Next we need to disconnect the compression strut or the front tube and we're going to get the control bar on the other side of the front strut and what this does is we're going to relock it and now we're going to take the mast bolt out that secures the mast. And so now I can remove this bolt here without the wing falling down. Now I've got that out. Now all I do is I lift up the wing, but as you see, it'll hit the engine enclosure. So you could remove the engine enclosure uh, because of the length of the keel. Otherwise, there's another way to do it. Uh, you just grab a strap, put it around the down tube, and then run the uh, hook to uh, anything in the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to hoist the wing forward, and that's going to shorten up the amount that the keel hangs back. So you'll see the hang block now is going to start moving aft on the wing, and that's going to result, there it goes, that's going to result in us being able to now clear. So we have ample clearance, and uh, we go ahead, and um, now we have to make sure we take the... Um, BRS bridle um, loose and now we can go ahead and just lower that to the ground. Now here's the dolly cart. It really helps if you have two people to lift up but uh, if you have to uh, don't get your legs stuck in there like that. So it's a little bit awkward and uh, basically once you've got the control bar seated in the uh, wing perch then all you have to do go ahead and disconnect your strap because we're going to go ahead and use that to bring the uh, uh, nose up onto the dolly cart and secure it and so just lift it up it's not too hard and go through the little hoops and now we're gonna go ahead and tighten this down there's not a lot of force of the wheel wanting to back up just yet but if you fold the wing the nose is gonna wanna really back away so we're gonna ratchet this down and we're gonna lock this thing to the cart now it's locked to the cart we're good and uh, we're going to remove the nose cone, we're going to take out our nose battens, and now we want to remove our electric trim. In order to do that, we're going to unzip uh, three zippers, we're going to pull out our little bolt that holds it in, and we're going to unplug and disconnect. Put the pins in the uh, motor so that you don't lose them for safekeeping later on. Now you have to fish the cables through the black strap, that's very important, and you're going to need to put the cables back through the black strap when you build the wing and assemble it. Now we're pulling out the tip battens, that's the first thing you really want to do is remove the tip battens, then you can drop the sprogs. Uh, so there's an inboard and an outboard sprog, and uh, now you can uh, disconnect all of the um, strings on the battens but we're not going to remove all of the battens. We can remove the first uh, six, but uh, without detensioning the wing. Uh, then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll just de disconnect, pull our six battens out after we remove the sprogs by folding them in. And uh, you can see how the sprog works there. We're going to just Velcro the bridle up so it's out of the way. Remove the antenna. That's something that a lot of guys uh, push it in the trailer and break the antenna off. So remember to remove that. And then disconnect the uh, haulback latch. It's pretty easy to do on the Rival X uh, 14, which is what this wing is. And now we can go ahead and pull out all of the, uh, the root battens. Go ahead and pull out the other side. You can use a screwdriver if the uh, batten strings are too hard to pull, but uh, generally you can just do it by finger. There are a lot of battens on the Rival X. This is one of the reasons that the single surface wings uh, are so much faster. Uh, pulling six battens on one side and being done. Uh, really makes it uh, a lot easier. Now the three blade prop is not an ideal propeller for doing a wing fold. You really want to use a two or a four bladed propeller so that the wing can basically fold and um, straddle the propeller. Uh, you want to make sure you pull out all of your undersurface battens and uh, 
once you've removed all of the undersurface battens, if you have somebody to help you, that's great. But if you don't have anybody to help you, this is a one-person setup, so I'm not receiving any help on this uh, wing fold. Uh, don't forget to remove your nose cone. Uh, you don't want to hurt the nose cone. We can go ahead and stow the, uh, the nose battens back onto the wing, and uh, they can either be there or not, but it's just a good place. Uh, hook up a strap. You can go about mid-span, and then you run the two straps together. These are a little bit short, so uh, if they were longer, it'd be a little bit easier, but there you go. You just pull them, and you want to catch them. Flip the fabric to the outside, and then do the same for the uh, other side. Be very careful with the propeller. Don't do it with a hot engine. Make sure your exhaust is cool. Pull the uh, fabric to the outside like so. And uh, now you've got the wing folded. You really want to just try to get, uh, oh, we've got a batten stuck in there. So this is something very common to happen, uh, and you'll, you'll know something's wrong. So make sure you have all the battens out. And now it's folded, and we can roll it up. So uh, even a guy that does it on a daily basis can leave a batten in there. Uh, before you roll it, make sure you have something to hold it, because if you don't have something to tie it, which is around my neck, um, then it'll unroll itself pretty fast. Um, you can clean it up at the back, and then we're going to put a, a wing tip boot that comes with your wing bag onto the, uh, the tips. And if you want to make it real pretty, see how it's puffed out here, just kind of tuck it in. And the leading edge does a really nice job of, of holding it. So that cleans it up pretty nice. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, do the other side. So get that uh, strap around my neck ready to uh, hold everything together. And you see the double surface, you have to help it along a little bit to get it to roll nicely. Make sure you get the Velcro correct. That's not correct. Go the other way. There you go. Tuck it in and then grab the uh, wingtip boot for the right wing. Okay, we're officially uh, just released the brake and now we can move this thing. So it's uh, moving as a unit and uh, the three blade prop works really good if your trailer is tall enough to clear that uh, top prop blade. So you can see that, can, that three blade can really be a, a pain in the neck. You want to tie up your uh, wing cables, use a bungee so they're not uh, uh, clanking around. The uh, compression strut you should really remove. Uh, that'll take any stress off of the bungee cord and the, uh, uh, the folding joint. And uh, just stow that uh, separately, not on the trike. Uh, for a short trip, you can certainly leave it in. Uh, for this trip, we're going to just go ahead and put the hardware back in the uh, front strut and we'll take that separate from the trike. We've gone ahead and padded out the propeller since we need to turn the propeller in this uh, configuration. Again, the four blade would do a better job. Uh, the two blade would do, do an even better job. We're gonna go ahead and secure the mass bolt back in uh, so we don't lose that. Keep that all nice and together. And uh, at this point, we are ready to put this into a trailer. Uh, everything's nice and secure. Now we uh, are going to go ahead and bag with the uh, batten bag. We're going to go ahead and put the battens into the bag just to kind of keep them organized. Sometimes people will just put a bungee cord around them, but uh, you can put all the uh, battens into the bag. keeps it really nice. You can keep your rights and your left separated, which will save you a little bit of time. And uh, you get all the curved tips pretty much together. You can slide them in all at once. Uh, don't try to line up the ends of the battens at the back and then have uh, what looks like a, uh, an old broom. Uh, you'll never get it in the bag. Straight ones go in pretty easy. And uh, then do the, uh, the rest of them there. There they all are. Pulling them back, getting the, uh, the curves all together. And then try to slide them in as one. And there it is. And now you can just roll that up and the batten's secure just like that. All right, so a winch is really an advisable thing. Um, you can push it into the trailer, but it is not a light aircraft, uh, no pun intended. So the winch just pulls it right in, and uh, this is standard 16-foot Vino, so it's actually 18-foot interior uh, from front to back. It just fits the Revo, both height and width. It's uh, really a great application. These trailers sell for under $4,000. Uh, you can add options to the trailer, such as uh, torsion axles, uh, the winch would be an option, but just basically the, uh, the regular uh, trailer does a real nice job. And uh, now we've secured uh, a few different anchors in the trailer. 
So the first one that we're going to here is we're going to tie the wing tips up. And uh, I'm just going to secure through there. And now we're going to that's going to support the wing. It's going to take it off the propeller where it was touching and um, secure that. And go ahead and uh, get some more straps. We're going to do the uh, other side, of course. And just ratchet that up. All right, so this part here, you want to feed the strap through the axle carrier, and then you want to go across the trailer. Uh, so we're going to actually wind up making an X pattern. Now, one of the things you have to watch out for, depending on the straps that you have, is the position of the anchors. So this is the first time that this uh, trike has been in the trailer. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, we're pulling the wing strut towards the wall. What that's going to do is it's going to allow the wing strut to act uh, as support. Otherwise, the wing struts really don't do much in the way of supporting the mid-span of the leading edge. So pulling those uh, leading edges out like that um, really help it to support the wing all the way down. And so we run it through the axle carrier, make sure you're not hitting the, um, the brake line. And now if your, your ratchets are, uh, the actual ratchet part are touching, you need to relocate the anchor strap so that uh, just the uh, uh, straps themselves are crisscrossing and not the, uh, the metal. We don't want any of the sharp metal to basically be touching. Once we resecure the anchor point, we're going to make an X uh, pattern going back, and then we're going to do the same forward. So we have an X going forward, an X going back, and that secures the trike from moving around. Now it's all set to pull home. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. This is how we secure Revos in our enclosed trailer with our trike dolly cart. And it's a pretty small trailer, 16 foot Vinos, pulled by a little Buick Enclave. And there it is, ready to go home 1,200 miles away.